Look at that, guys. Now I have a torch that's not designed to be pilot arc, running pilot arc. Will it cut? Pete'sTools.com G'day, my friends. Are you like me? Have you ever wondered when you're plasma cutting where the extra pilot arc wire goes when it feeds back into your torch? And is there really a difference? Does it really matter? And do you really have to use a pilot arc torch with a pilot arc machine? Or can you use a non-pilot arc torch with a pilot arc machine? Or the other way around? Gets real confusing, eh? Anyway, I'm going to show you on this video what that extra wire actually does or doesn't do. Same as usual, my friends. If you like my videos, remember to subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. And don't forget to come and say hello if you've got some suggestions for me. And don't be rude, guys. This torch here, guys, is off one of my earliest machines. This torch is probably 10 years old. You can still buy these torches. It's called a PT31 torch. It's about the cheapest plasma torch you're going to be able to buy anywhere on the net, basically. I mean, you can buy a torch and lead like this for about 40 bucks. But this is not pilot arc. Sort of different technology to this torch here, which is a AG60 torch, which a lot of the new machines are using these days. So what I want to know is what the difference is between the one with the pilot arc and the one with not pilot arc. We know what the difference is when you pull the button on the torch because the flame comes out before you actually touch the metal. That's pilot arc. And non-pilot arc, you have to actually scratch the metal to get the flame to start. But I want to know where this red wire here connects to in the torch and whether we can alter a non-pilot arc torch to be pilot arc and run on a pilot arc machine. What do you reckon? Let's have a go. So like I said before, guys, I think the only difference is this pilot arc wire here. So if we grab a multimeter and actually see where this wire leads us to in the torch, we might start to find out how it actually works. What I'm doing here is I'm just basically looking for a short, guys. So in other words, when I touch this pilot arc wire here, I want to know whereabouts on the torch it connects to. So it's not there. Hear that? Yeah. So what that's telling me is this wire here is connected directly to the cutting nozzle, which is easy peasy lemon squeezy if you ask me. So what's to stop us attaching a wire to the cutting tip on the non-pilot arc torch, this torch here, and then attaching it to the pilot arc button here, chances are we just turn this torch into pilot arc. What do you reckon? Do you reckon it'll work guys? Only one way to find out. So here's the original torch on this machine guys, and if I pull the trigger, because it's pilot arc, the flame comes out, we're all ready to cut, we don't have to make contact with the torch, before we start cutting. So that's the basic advantage of this torch over this torch. Now, if I connect this torch to this machine, you watch what happens. So we've basically got the same fittings on the torch, guys. The only difference is like this wire here. So what I'll do is I'll change them over and see what happens. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Take out that, so it's just the switch, take out this which is just the air line and the main conductor line and of course the pilot arc wire here. So we'll take him off, like so. So these are the connections on our pilot arc torch guys, just the main air lead and the main power lead, on off switch and the pilot arc wire. Righty odie coyote, so we'll stick this one over here. Now let's try and plumb in the standard cheaper PT31 torch. What do you think is going to happen, guys? Of course, we haven't got the extra pilot arc wire. So I'll screw the air line on there. Put the on-off switch on here. Turn them on. Yeah. There we go. We're all set to go. Now, what do you reckon is going to happen, guys? So pull the trigger. Not much happening. We've got air coming out, and that's about all, guys. So what happens if I touch the steel we're trying to cut? Then we'll actually start to cut. The machine will actually liven up, but we don't have the pilot arc. So how can we solve that, guys? So do you reckon that little wire trick would work, guys? Only one way to find out, eh? So do you reckon if we put that wire from here to there, then we'll get pilot arc? Let's have a go. So all I'm doing, guys, is putting this old bit of wire I found in the workshop around the end of the cutting nozzle on my old plasma torch. And the other end, I'm just hooking up to the pilot arc connector on the plasma cutter machine. Just like so. Right, I don't know if this is going to work or not, guys, but let's have a go. Right, we turn the machine back on. Wait for it to do its thing. Here we go. Now, will it turn this torch into pilot arc? Yee-hee! <laughs> Look at that, guys. 
Now have a torch that's not designed to be pilot arc, running pilot arc. Will it cut? Right, I've got a piece of painted four mil plate here, guys. Let's see if the thing will cut it. There we go. Because we all know that this used to be a scratch start torch and then it won't start on paint, but will their pilot arc modification work? Look at that guys, it obviously works. But another thing you should be aware of is that pilot arc has to be held off whatever you're cutting by about half a millimeter. And because this torch is not designed to have a spacer on it, I was actually touching it on the metal. So I don't know if that's gonna do the plasma cutter any harm or not. If I try another cut, but I'll try and hold it just a fraction above what I'm cutting. So I'm trying to hold this just above what I'm cutting guys. That's really hard to hold at the same distance off what you're cutting all the time. So this really needs like a, a spacer, a guide on it, a standoff guide. But then, like I said, this torch is not designed to have a standoff guide on it. But it obviously works, guys. So there you go, my friends. More useless information that you didn't even really want to know. But if you get stuck and you haven't got the right plasma torch, there's always a way to get out of it. But if you're tight with your money like Pete and you don't want to buy a new plasma torch, try that little wire trick, guys. It might just help you out of a bind. Anyway, same as usual. If you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Pete's Tools.com.